Hey, how's everyone doing? This is Oz with Oz Mechanics, and on today's video, we have this 2007 Chevy Silverado right behind me. So the issue with this Chevy Silverado is that the customer started driving, and then he noticed that half of the cluster wasn't working. So after that, he went to a junkyard, got another cluster, slapped it on there, and guess what? Did not fix up the issue. So on today's video, we're going to try to get into this, and we're going to try to figure it out, and hopefully we can get this truck back on the road. All right, so we're inside the vehicle, but first let's try to see what we have right here. So let's move our scan tool. All right, so as you can see, we have our key on the on position right here. And it's showing that, you know, we have our battery light, check engine light, and ABS light. But once you turn this on, see what happens. The only thing that's kind of registering is the RPM. He did state that the miles per hour was working but all these other gauges are pretty much stationary right there as you can see doesn't show how much gas doesn't even show the oil pressure or the actual uh, voltage that we have on there so next uh, that we want to do is get our scan tool right here so let's see if we can do an auto detect on this let's see what we get all right as you can see it kicked us out so we have to put the VIN right there and let's see if I can get that cool all right let's do an auto scan let's see what's talking to us oh so none of those wow what is going on here It has not picked up ABS, uh, <laughs> transmission, uh, engine, none of that. Well, uh, so the scan tool is basically not going to do nothing. It's not even going to be any help at all. Cool. It basically says that we don't have no communication at all and uh, yeah so let me pull out my break uh, breakout box and uh, let's see what we can find right here all right cool so we have our breakout box connected right here and as you can see we have our pin 16 which which shows battery voltage pin 4 and 5 and that's gonna be our grounds and then we have pin 2 right here that's gonna be our communication our data, uh, class 2 data line right there so it is blinking right now we have our key on the on position so I do want to see we have our oscilloscope right here I do want to hook up and see how this looks so we have our ground on pin 4 and then our power on pin 2 and check this out so right now that's letting us know that modules pulling this down what I want to see is 0 to 7 and we're not getting that so we want to see a 0 7 square wave on this class 2 but we're not seeing that and we're seeing a bunch of nasty hash right there so I do have my wiring diagram right here and this is going to be all the modules connected on the class 2 and because this is a basic uh, Silverado right here as you can see we don't have any door locks or power windows we can already take off some of the stuff here so this is a basic model we don't have no crazy stuff this is basically a work truck we can already remove the power or the driver door switch passenger door switch what else digital radio out rear seat audio out amplifier for sure is out uh, we do have a body control module, we do have instrument uh, panel, HVAC, memory seat, that's gone, remote control door lock, out, uh, we don't have rear, so no rear object, uh, let's see right here, inflatable restraint, front passenger 
not sure on that one. And what else? Rollover sensor. Eh, not sure on that one. All right. So if we look at the modules that we still have here, we have what is the radio, chime module, uh, vehicle communication. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, I do notice that they do have an aftermarket radio so right now what I will, will want to do because you know sometimes you deal with those is that they put aftermarket radios and they uh, accidentally get on the data line and that pulls it down we can try that out and we can kill two birds with one stone because you have the HVAC module as well right there so how about we take this off and we see what we have alright so we did remove the connector for our aftermarket radio on our HVAC so let's check out our signals still nothing didn't make any change at all so we can remove that there we go and I forgot about that they did replace the instrument cluster that's what they thought it was uh, at first so we can take that off the list and now we have let's see one two three four five six seven seven more modules uh, what I do want to take off I'm going to take off this you know body control module and then uh, after that we're going to see how that looks and then we can go from there right now what I really want to try to do is you know take off the easy ones and then go from there kind of wish I had that a AES uh, tool uh, I think Keith had it on one of his videos. You can go into the splice pack and actually go from there. Nah, uh, we'll see what we have. So, let me take off this BCM and see what we get. All right. So to take off this little cover, it was basically two seven millimeters, one there, one here, and then we had to pop off the two clips. And there's our BCM right there. So all I want to do, if uh, this BCM is bad, is basically going to pull all the other modules down because they're all connected together. So let's uh, let's see what we're going to do is disconnect this. All right, cool. So we have them disconnected. All right, BCM is connected, uh, disconnected, and as you can see, still the same issue. And we can remove that one off all right um, well well I did remove the BCM disconnected that I came over here and uh, saw this wire right here and as you can see it has some data lines right here and the ones that you know are the ones that are twined together what I want to try to do because we have a lot more modules out there I can just try to disconnect this and see if we have any communication back or if we can restore anything so how about we give that a try because this one has a few right here and let's see what happens all right all right cool so this is disconnected let's see what we got ah <laughs> check that out all right and that's what we want to see right there and that's our zero to seven and uh that looks beautiful and check this out too cool now we're getting now we're getting somewhere as you can see it's showing our actual fuel gauge and uh our battery voltage so let's give this a try i'm going to connect this back on see what happens All right, here it goes. On, off, on, off. All right, so this is actually pretty pretty cool, man. I already have everything apart. Not too bad, it wasn't taking too long. So what we can do, we can try to see and trace this wire right here and see where it goes. So this wire, goes down here and let me get our light let's 
see where this wire goes to. All right, as we can see, it goes under the seat on this side, and then it keeps on going out. So let's see what we have right here that's under the seat. All right, so under driver's seat, the inflatable res uh, restraint sensing diagnostic module. So this is going to be our airbag module. Huh. All right, let's take a look at that. Let's see what we get. All right, so we finally have this unclipped. Man, that was a sucker to get off. All right, here it goes. So let's check this connector out. <laughs> look at that look at all that nastiness right there now let's go look at our module wow all right that is dirty look at that a little close-up right there so like i said man i really don't know what happened to this vehicle man i don't know if it was in the flood i don't know if they just washed it or, or what man but this is nastiness right here all right, let's go up front to our actual scope and let's see what we have right here. So, as we can tell, we do have our connector still connected. And let's look at our scope. And look at that. We still have our 0 to 7 and it's looking beautiful. And then if we still look at our gauges, they are working. So what not so now what we're gonna do, we're actually gonna call our customer and we're gonna just confirm this, tell him that he needs the airbag module, and then we just need to program it. So there you go. Go through our steps, get your wiring diagram, know your circuit. If you do have a breakout box, you can use one, but you don't have to. You can actually just back probe it from the back of the DLC. And uh, we got this fixed, man. You know, he changed out the instrument cluster thinking that that was gonna be the issue. But that wasn't. You just have to uh, check some stuff out. And I do remember uh, Keith, he had a video on this one. I think it was a van. Same issue. So just memory as well. So big ups to Keith on that. So that's going to finish up this video. So if you do like this video, please throw a big thumbs up. And don't forget to hit that little notification bell to get all the brand new videos coming out from Miles Mechanics. Hope y'all have a nice day. Y'all take care. Goodbye.